Oh, do you smell it? Oh, it's just like popping open a new video game for the first time. It's that plasticky smell. Oh, it's a brand new smell of a brand new series. Oh, and we're under a tree. We are under a tree, but it doesn't matter because this is one hell of a new brand new series. <laughs> Alrighty, guys. I'm Casey and welcome to a brand new series here on the channel, guys. This is going to be a long-term hardcore survival world. Hopefully, we may die, so it may just be a short-term one. But we are going to hope for a long-term survival world, and we're going to start by just punching some wood. But what I would like you to do right now, guys, is leave the video a like, and maybe even hit that subscribe, so you can stay tuned for the rest of this series. But I think without any further ado, uh, let's get into the episode. I think that's a good idea. Before we can even begin this series, what we need to do is we need to create the world. And I wanted to show you guys a creation progress test so that you can see this is actually hardcore. We've got it called the Caves and Cliffs Hardcore World Game Mode. is set to hardcore. And if we go into more world options, subscribe to Mr. Casey Davis is the seed. So we are going to create a new world and see exactly what we get. So now I've punched myself some wood. There's only one more thing left to do, and that's to mine myself some stone. Thankfully, we got a little bit just here, but I want to pick. I want to pick. And I always like to make the first set of tools on camera, so we're just going to make ourselves... The crafting table, the crafting table of all crafting tables. This crafting table has special magical properties that make it do absolutely nothing else than a normal crafting table does. But we can punch, we can make a, a wooden pick. Punch a wooden pick. Punch a wooden pick. Yes, we'll punch a wooden pick. Uh, we'll get this. I want three. Actually, I want a little bit more. Enough for a set of tools. Well, 21 should be more than enough. I just want the basic tools. You know, just the basic tools. So, you know, a pick, an axe, a shovel, and a hoe. And maybe even a sword. I think a sword would be a great idea. Don't you? Now, I wonder what kind of terrain we're dealing with. We've obviously spawned in a tiger. That's fantastic. And it looks like we got birch wood over there and a swamp right there. But but what else have we got? Sugar cane? A very small cave. A very big cave. Iron. Oh, I'm having this. All two pieces of it. And then I'm going to slowly fall down. Oh, 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 we got... We, we, let me get some light. Because, of course, the one cave I choose to jump into had coal readily available, didn't it? Torches? Acquired. There it is, the dripstone, along with its two royal guards that are soon to be mush. Actually, you could just... Nah, I think I, I think I will slay you. I think I will slay you because I want to eat you. That's right. Ow, you pun You punched me! He pun I can't believe he actually punched me! Do I look like the kind of person who likes to be punched? I don't like to be punched. Four dripstone. Eight dripstone blocks. That's a good start. There's a tad more iron up in the roof right here. I mean, we'll take it. And this is as far as my torches are going to get me. But we got a little bit of copper and a little bit of iron. And you can bet your bottom dollar I'm taking both. Oh, great. The copper even has a guard. Ha! You fell down! And you died! Ha! That's KC1. Zombies. No, not that I'm keeping score or anything. Oh, it's starting to get dark. It's starting to get dark. But since I'm part Welsh, I'm really happy to see some sheep about here. Let's get this iron smelted up. Can I like a chunk? Holy crew. There's a freaking... There's a drowned throwing a tiden at me. Ow! That, that hurt. That, Mr. Zombie. Very little HP, no food, and three wool from the first sheep that we sheared. Great. Okay. Okay, now we need to do, like, the world's fastest crafting of a bed. Uh, we do not have the required one. Please, no thin, come up and blow me up. I would be very, very upset if it, something did that. Okay, down, sleep. Good. Cow, and I need food, so you die. I need more food. I need more food. First things first. This pains me. Biggies. Here, biggie, 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 biggie. I'm sorry, little babies, but uh, I am going to leave you orphaned. I know that's ho horrible and cool and mean, but I really need to eat your parents, and they taste yummy, and I need food. I do totally realize there is a special place reserved in hell for me right now. Nevertheless, onwards to infinity and beyond. Ooh, ooh, chicken. What came first, chicken or the egg? Well, we found the egg, so we solved that question. So our food situation is looking a little bit healthier. But now I need a little bit more wood so we can cook this up. So I'm going to chop down some of these oak trees and maybe even get an apple or two. And with the remains of those oak trees, I will turn three of those logs into three pieces of charcoal. And with those three pieces of charcoal, 
We'll cook those pigs' mothers and fathers. If you're going through hell, keep on going. Oh, I'm going to have a nice little seat next to Beelzebub sooner or later. Meanwhile, most of the trees have, have, have fallen and we got two apples. Two apples. Oh, not that many, is it? Oh, oh, I think we got a third one. Ah, three apples. Slightly happy. Oh, there's a fourth one up there. Come to Papa. Four apples. I wonder if these can keep the wandering trader away. With six cooked pork chops, we can actually have something to eat now. I don't want to eat the apples. <laughs> oh, I don't like food. I don't like food. Now with that all taken care of, it's time to continue on our adventure. This area is really starting to appeal to me more and more and more. We got a dark oak forest along with another tiger right over there. The swamp is on our doorstep. So we got clay, spruce wood, and dark oak wood all in like walking distance. I kind of like this. I want to see what else is around here, though. You go down in the woods today, you're sure of a big surprise. And then we'll spend tonight underneath this tree right here. Ah, oh, The sweet sound of the birds chirping and the creepers blowing up. Ah, good rest indeed. Hello there, Mr. Creeper. You stay. That's right. You stay. Me go. I think that sums this woods up absolutely perfectly. Oh, some coal. Right in the cliff face. Bet your bottom dollar I'm having that. Do I have space in my inventory? I do have space in my inventory. Right. Coal, you be mine. I am a dwarf and I'm digging a hole. Diggy, diggy coal. Diggy, diggy coal. Look at that. 18 pieces. No more smelting trees up. I found more coal. But more importantly, I found a goat. Oh, it's the greatest of all time. Hello, Mr. Goat. Oh, three Billy Goats gruff. I used to love that story as a kid. I used to love it. Anyway, I've got cows over there that need to be slayed and um, coal that needs to be mined. Gold and kai hide acquired. Now we leave. Bye bye, Mr. Goat. Bye bye. He said bye bye to us. Once more, the night has drawn in, and I figured we'd spend it underneath this floating rock because, you know, that's safe. Lived. It's our village. Is that a village? Well, it's definitely a road with a torch on it. Oh, come on. There's got to be houses through the woods. Ah, there it is. Look. Oh, there's a village with one house. <laughs> there's a bed inside. No villagers, though. Have they all gone out? Oh, here they are. Look. Here they are. Brilliant. What we got inside here? Oh. Oh, bread. Oh, this is actually something that I was looking for. I'm glad we found it because uh, now I can talk about exactly what I'm going to be doing. Over the series, it's like they're growing um, pumpkins. Oh, and I, I, I like this terrain. I like this terrain. It's all kind of janky and whatnot. Ah, <sighs> but let, 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 let's get up here and we can talk about exactly what my plans for the hardcore series is, or at least in the first part of it. I've always wanted to do a village transformation in Minecraft, and that is exactly what we are going to be doing here. We're going to be doing a village transformation. I like the idea that there's all of these. It's like ravine going right through there. I think that's going to be really, really cool. But uh, yeah, so we could actually call this home. That's what I want to do. I want to do a full village transformation. Or at least build a village over a pre-existing village. <laughs> do, do, do they have a bell? <gasps> they do. If we ring this, the villagers should go inside. Give me some cobblestone. They should all head inside. Got out for the table. Like, oh, chest, 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 chest. Uh, empty map, paper, and just an empty map. Okay, we are definitely going to raid this, but I don't have anywhere to sort of set up home right now. I want to kind of get the villagers trapped inside so they don't accidentally die. <sighs> I don't know where they've all gone. I've got at least two trapped inside, and this guy does not want to come out because it is a really, really bad idea for you, my friend. Oh, jeez, there's a huge drop there, man. You could, you could fall and break your neck. That's why you don't step on a crap. There's a little baby and he's bouncing up and down on the bed. Or at least he was when I came in. He stopped. Oh, there he goes. Look. There he goes. Look. Oh, we got even more. I like these asses. These asses are actually pretty cool. I haven't seen this kind of village before. Okay, so I'm kind of looking at this and I'm trying to think of a position where I want to put my first house. And I think we need to start by tearing down a house that's already here and then building our own sort of variant of it. But I am going to need... I am going to need some resources to be able to do this. And thankfully, we've got kind of like caves here. And I should be able to get what I want out of there. I want some cobblestone and some andesite, maybe? Um, no, no. I, I think I'm going to go a different route. I think I'm going to go a different route. First things first, we need a couple of chests and we need to set up an area where we can actually just 
get things done. I like the fact there's trapdoors here. Dibs. Mine. So, I found one chest in the house that we're going to rearrange, and it's got some pretty cool stuff in it. A fern, some potatoes, and an emerald. This is all great. To be honest, I just want the chest right now so I can place it down next to our bed. Um, you are going to be really annoying and not give me the chest until very last, are you? Yeah, you literally gave me everything but the chest. Well, there's my second chest. Just a bunch of bread in it, but it is a cartographer's sort of table thing. And I, I swear, I swear, I'm not, I'm not trolling here. Like... Oh, you need silk touch to pick them up, don't you? I'm running through here, and I swear to God, I saw something run through these trees behind me. And I, I turned around because I thought it was a village, and there's nobody here, but I definitely saw something move through here. And now I'm, like, all creeped out. Is this a creeper? Is he going to freaking blow up on me? Oh, man. Oh, maybe it was Herobrine. Oh. I really do actually wish I was just being entertaining for the video, but I did genuinely see something run around. Oh, the, the, these trees behind me. Are you the ghost that was walking through these trees? You must have been. Ah, oh, you gave me a fright. I thought I was see th seeing things. I needed a padded room almost. Crisis averted. We can put our stuff away. And I think I want to go and get a couple of stacks of cobblestone. But I think I need to make some, some more pickaxes up. <sighs> now is the brutal task of me putting some music on and going and doing some resource gathering. <sighs> there we go. Now, this makes a perfect sense to gather th some cobblestone from, but I don't want to do it just yet because uh, we, 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 we want to light it up. Okay, we got a Skelly Bob here who does two hearts of damage. That's nice. Um, please don't slay me. Okay, okay, okay. Like, this is bad. This is really, 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 really bad. Okay, okay. Let's just uh, block that off <laughs> and not worry about that Skelly Bob. Okay. That's fine. What's what's this way? Can we do, like, would here be a better place? Here might be a more natural orientated place. Yeah, that, that skeleton can go jump in a river and become a drown. Back from the mines, I've got the four stacks of cobble that I want, which is foundedly tastic. My next task is to smelt up at least one stack of this in the furnace. I grabbed some coal while I was down there too, since there was some in the wall, which is great. Now that that's smelting up, I want to tear down this house, which is where we are going to put our little starter home. But I need to make a new stone axe first, but this will be gone in the next clip. Think I've upset one of the locals. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry about your house, I am, but it's mine now, so get out of me bed. Actually, that's your bed. My bed's over here. Uh, I'm a nomad. Now with that guy's house out of the way, we can actually see more of what we're working with. And I do kind of want to somewhat stay true to what we originally had i want to i want to use some of the ideas like this is going to be the roof design these these spruce logs but i also want to shape out this house so i think we'll go should we go five uh five is a, a good number i mean leaves us with a bit of a small interior but that, that that's fine and we'll bring it back probably about that far and then we'll bring it over here i think i think yeah yeah that's good um, and we'll bring it over this way, probably three. Yeah, we'll stick with the the same as what we're doing there, and then uh, we'll bring it out one there, and then we'll just bring it along like this. Yeah, I'm, I'm fairly happy with that. And then I want to take some oak wood and just sort of um, do the floors because I do want this to be up a block. I want us to be able to go up to this house, and this is going to be just a very basic starter house, but. It should serve all of our needs. Now, I'm going to take out the corners. Like this corner, this corner, this corner, this one, this one, and of course, this one. And I want to put in some spruce logs. And I want to go up a fair bit. I don't want this house to be short, but I don't want it to be too tall either. Um, I think that's a good height. That's a perfect height, actually. How far does that bring us up? Yeah, about there. With them in fully in place, words. <laughs> oh, if words could words, then I would word. <sighs> right. With them fully in place, I think I am actually going to go ahead and just plonk one down here just for symmetric's sake. It'll make my OCD feel a lot better. I think I went one too high there. <sighs> I want to I wanna make a mixture of what we are going to do. So, we're going to put like spruce on, I think, the front ones on these and then on the other ones we're going to use 
cobblestone. So we get a little bit of a different sort of feel depending on which wall we are actually looking at. Yeah, I think that's going to look pretty cool. But of course, these need to come all the way up. You ever feel like you're being judged when you sleep? I mean, I really don't appreciate you standing and looking at me, my man. I don't appreciate that one bit. But uh, that's not the house. This is the house. This is what we've got going on so far. And I do kind of like it. This side. Oh, I burped. I do apologize. I do apologize. I got a bit of wind. It wasn't me. It was my dinner. <laughs> so we need to sort this roof out here, which is kind of like my next major goal. And I've got hopefully enough spruce logs to do this. But I am going to go ahead and just grab these slabs and make up a ladder. Oh, if we had... If we had bamboo, we could use that. But I need a way to get up there, and one ladder is certainly not going to be enough. Starting from this side, because I feel like it is going to be the easiest, we'll just pop some dirt down here, 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 and so on and so forth, just so that I've got a block to actually place this against. Because I do want it going in this direction. We don't want it going in the other direction. I, I don't think that would be very good. I have... I have been tempted to strip the logs going up to the top of this. But at this point, I'm not entirely certain. But I've, I've got a feeling I'm going to need more logs than what I do have. But that, that that's okay. But now we'll just sort of bring this back here. And just get this section of the roof done. With the roof in place, this really does look a lot better. Bear in mind, this is going to be the entrance around here, right here. And this is the next bit that I want to work on. But before I do, I kind of want to just make the roof seem a little bit more stable. So what I want to do is I want to add those around pretty much everywhere that we possibly can. I'm choosing oak so it stands out a little bit like that. And we've obviously, we've got this one over here. I'm going to need a few more oak fences. So they look rather pretty, don't they? And now we're going to just strip these and I think it'll look nice. I tried it over there and I do kind of like the way that this... Logs are going to stop placing torches when I strip it. We are not stripping the roof. We are only stripping these bottom bits. And now we're getting more of a feel for the kind of log cabin that I'm going for. But we're going to turn our attention back to this entrance way here. We need a way to get up here. So I think what we're going to do is we're just going to do like a little balcony like this. I think that would be perfectly fine. Yeah, I do kind of like that. I think I want to take this out though. I think this would look better as a log. I don't think I have any oak logs. Oh, handy. We got a low oak log right here. Um, we'll, we'll chop this down together. We'll chop this down together. There we go. That'll do. That should be enough for what I want. And then we'll just take you up, I think, three. Yeah. And then I want to use sort of spruce trap doors. No. To create some sort of overhang. Although, looking at this, I'm not entirely certain I like this anymore. Huh. Let me have a play around. Now that looks a lot better. We got a nice little window right here. And that brings me into what I want to do over here. I want to add in a two set window here. But I want to have it sort of held up by a fence post like that. I was going to do this all the way across. But I don't think I'm going to. And I think what we're going to do for the actual fences. I have some. Or rather for the windows. I don't want to use. I don't want to keep using glass. I like to use other things. Glass looks alright but... I think a lot of other things look a lot cooler. And I think those inset look a little bit better. There's definitely something that we need to do underneath here. I think maybe some bushes around here might help things out. So I'm just going to leave that. But I do want to insert some more of these windows in different places. You know, it's amazing how just adding in windows can really bring to life a build. I super duper do love this. I had to add a super duper into it. There, and I love this particular one. Look, this is held up by just one that goes all the way into the corner there. And we've got this design repeated, I think, three times on this particular one, which is fine, which is fine. But we've also got different designs pretty much everywhere we go. And I like how this still feels very much like it does when you actually play just a vanilla village like this. Look, we've still kept this vibe, which I really, really like. Oh, it's going to be such a fun village to build. I'm really proper looking forward to this. I had no idea what I was going to do when I started this episode. And then I was like five minutes in. I'm like, I want to do a village transformation. And then we found a village and we're starting it, which is going to be fantastic. We're also going to make a bunch of things, uh, a bunch of farms, by the way. Yes, I want to do that too. 
Uh, but first things first, I wanna I wanna add some leaves out here. I think creators, especially Minecraft creators, go a bit too heavy with the leaves. But uh, I think you just add a couple in, just sort of. It does bring a bit more life to the build, and I want to add some farms out here, some some farmland. So I don't want to add too many, but I just want to sort of give it a bit more of a feel like that. Perfect. That feels like we've got some leaves and some foliage in there. We could have some draping off the top, but I don't really want that with this house. So I'm going to do that with some other houses, like it's been overgrown. But anyway, I've got some clay smelting up. I want to add some plant pots to these here. Windowsill so we can add some color to it. Now that's what I'm talking about. Oh, that looks so much better. I, I moved this down one. We can still actually sneak in here, which is good. But this actually feels like a house. I'm really chuffed with how this house has turned out. Oh, I love building in Minecraft. I truly love it. Now, I do want to add something to the roof at some point, but for right now, I'm just going to leave it be just because I'm running out of wood. But I've got some more things I want to do because we've got to do the interior now. So let me get that done. So here we have it. The final product from villager house to self-made villager house. The inside looks pretty glorious as well. Oh, well, it just looks normal. <laughs> These are all single chests right now because I don't have the wood to make a double chest. But... Uh, Small enough storage for what we need. We've got a smithing table and a cartography table right here. I stole these from the village and the crafting table. And then we got the kitchen in here. I'm going to put some... Ooh, ooh, I'm, I'm breaking stuff. I'm going to put some potion brewery stands up there once we get into the nether and whatnot. Or maybe some other things that uh, we may need. And then we've got all the three types of furnaces right here. Which have a little bit of coal in them all apart from this one. <laughs> that one I've just made. Where did I saw carpet? Looks good, looks good. And then we even have a bedroom. Bedroom up here. All in all, this place looks really good. Grindstone. All in all, this is a nice little quaint starter home. I want to take a little picture of that. Give me my menu back. Thank you very much. But yeah, guys. Unfortunately, that is all the time that I have for this episode. So if you have enjoyed this video and you do like the build that we have made right here... Do me a favor, hit that like button and click subscribe. You can also follow me on social media. Links are down below. But Minecraft isn't the only game I play. I have two other channels that you can check out as well where we play new and up-to-date games. We're currently playing Alan Wake Remastered about a writer who has a haunting secret. Um, and so far, we've had a, a quite a spooky experience as well as playing Gears of War, which is one of my all-time favorite games. This is where the Locust Horde arrive from beneath the planet and start to lay waste to humanity. But don't worry, because humanity, in a feeble attempt to end the Locust, decided to draw, destroy their own cities. And unfortunately, our protagonist, Marcus Phoenix, is in prison. So, yeah, a little bit of a plug for my other channels, guys. There's also my TikToks down below and a short channel, too, if you want to enjoy those. But, as always, I'm Casey. You're the awesome folk. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Take care now. Bye-bye.